Let me show you some code. We saw in a previous video how to use promises. Let's see now how to build promises. Let's start first with an implementation of a pdivide promise maker we saw in a previous video. So we create a promise with a function, the promise body, that will be immediately called by the promise constructor and that function takes a resolve and a reject functions. These functions, resolve and reject, are synthesized by the runtime library and you can only use them. The division takes place and leads, if the division is possible, to invoke resolve with an object with uh, quotient and remainder properties and conversely if the divider is zero, we call reject with an error, meaning that the promise is a failure. Note that the result of the function body of a promise is totally ignored. Only when it finishes, the failure of the success sequels will be invoked. Suppose, for instance, here a bad implementation of pdivide. We on the only thing we added is the infinite loop at the end of the, fun of the promise body. Let's try this. You see that we are stuck here in the infinite loop and the SQL is not called. If I kill the computation, then the whole promise is killed and nor the failure SQL or the success SQL is called. So you have to wait for the end of a body in order to trigger the failure of the success sequels. Node.js uses callbacks instead of promises. Fortunately for read file, it is possible to turn the callback styled read file into a promise making function called read file async. The callback settles the promise into a success or a failure. More interesting is the Atmost promise maker that takes a promise and a delay and expects that promises to be settled before that delay. We attach the sequels to the promise, but also set a timeout function that will reject the promise if not settled after the delay. Resolving or rejecting a promise can be done a long time after the creation of a promise. Notice also that when a promise is settled, its status, failure or success cannot be changed. So for instance, promise can be fulfilled with a success, resolve will be triggered, the set timeout can then be invoked, and the reject will be rejected, in fact, because the promise is already fulfilled with a resolve. Finally, uh, a very interesting one is the promise any promise maker. It takes an array of promises and returns a new promise that will be a success if one of the input promises is a success, but will be a failure if all the input promises are failures. Promise.any works internally with an array memorizing the input promises that are failures. When all promises finish and are all failures, then we reject the newly created promise. Pay attention that Promise.any is different from Promise.race. Promise.race takes an array of promises and returns the first promise to settle be it with a success or a failure. Promise.race and Promise.all are primitives method on promises. Many promise li libraries offer Promise.any with additional bells and whistles. Look at when.js, bluebird.js and many others.